What is anime? Why do so many people seem obsessed with it? Is it something I should be watching? Welcome to Anime Gateways, where we take your favorite movies, TV shows, video games, comics, and more, and recommend anime similar to them. Simply put, anime is just another form of storytelling originating from Japan with all sorts of misconceptions surrounding it. But it's time to tear down that wall. Critically acclaimed films have drawn inspiration from anime for years, and now it's time to find out why. Anime is not just a genre. They're not all your typical Saturday morning cartoons. Today, we get a taste of some must-watch anime that are perfect entry points for anyone looking to get into them. And to anyone who's not, don't you dare change that channel. First up is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Ed and Al commit the ultimate taboo when they attempt to bring their mother back to life using alchemy, reaching too far into a world they don't understand, and Edward loses half his limbs while Al loses his entire body. After fusing Al's soul to a suit of armor, they embark on a desperate journey to seek out the Philosopher's Stone and restore their bodies. But if you're looking for an engaging story that's full of depth, it's one of the strongest contenders out there. It's epic, it's funny, there's romance, there's drama, it has everything you want. And you've got like a fascist army trying to overthrow the ruling party. You've got these weird demonic homunculi type things that are named for the seven deadly sins. You have battles, you have flames, a terrifying world. But at the core of it, it's a story of two brothers who have each other's back through thick and thin, and in some cases, even destroying their bodies in some sort of weird demonic shadow realm. Edward and Alphonse both lost something very dear to them. Um, first it was her mother, and then for Alphonse, the entirety of himself. And I think Ed feels responsible for that as the older brother. And so as they continue in their journey, um, they each have to help each other. It's one that really got me into anime, and one that I think is a great access point if you are new to anime or trying to get a friend into anime. In a sci-fi world where science is magic, the real heart of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is the inseparable bond between two brothers. Whether you have siblings or not, we all have someone we can connect to and care about. Or something. Isn't she adorable? She's been cuddled by look. Next up, we have the ongoing series, Fairy Tale. In the world of Earthland exist various wizarding guilds, but none are as rowdy or destructive as Fairy Tale. Natsu, a wizard in search of his missing foster father, who happens to be a dragon, teams up with Lucy and other members of Fairy Tale to complete quest and take down illegal dark guilds, including ancient demons created by the dark wizard, Zara. Plot is rather simple and straightforward, whereas the characters are always growing, each with their own unique quirks. Like Urza, she's strict and feared by her guild members, but throw her on stage and watch that personality crumble apart. <laughs> or Natsu, the fearless dragon slayer. Introduce him to any form of transportation and hello motion sickness. Though it's okay if a blue cat flies him around, no issues there. Man, you've got wizards, you've got magic, you've got explosions, and friendship. I've talked to a lot of people and they've said this is the show that they started watching or they got their little brother involved. I think the characters are all sort of these kind of bombastic kind of awesome characters that, that, that are really well drawn and they, that complement each other well. And um, the artwork's kind of like iconic. Like when I go do a con, I always see some shirtless dude with the tattoo right here. Like, so that's obviously something that people gravitate toward. While most anime land between 12 and 24 episodes, Fairy Tale has over 200 with more to come. Then watch an episode or two to see if you can stop. Fairy Tale episodes are the Pringles of anime. There's always another episode. And for some reason, it's even more delicious than the last. Then you add in like Cool Ranch Doritos and then like the puffs and the hot tamales. Third up is the beloved Sailor Moon. The series follows a young schoolgirl, Usagi, as she encounters a magic cat and gains the ability to transform into the powerful guardian of love and justice, Sailor Moon. Now she must form a team and fight to protect the universe from the forces of evil. Sailor Moon brought a lot of attention to the anime fandom after making its way to North America. It became an instant hit and holds a spot in the hearts of many, including my own. I loved the series. I thought it was fun. I loved the idea of girls being powerful and magical and kind of being the chosen ones. And I thought that was a, a really cool thing. I don't remember many uh, series as a kid with powerful female characters. And it was really, I think, important and influential for me uh, to get to see that when I was young. While Usagi may not be the heroine we ask for, she's the heroine we need. The fate of the universe rests on her shoulders. She works hard to meet those ridiculous expectations. 
superheroes, it's monster of the week, it's action, it's romance, it's all of those things, and it's got, it's got a little bit something for everyone. Relatable characters to attach ourselves to, chest pounding battles to keep the momentum going, there's something for everybody to enjoy. Not to mention romance that appeals to both the straight and gay communities. The show made some progressive moves for its time, and we love it for it. As much as we love Tuxedo Mask. And last up, it needs no introduction, but I'll give it anyways. The glorious Dragon Ball Z. It follows Earth's greatest hero, Goku, and his companions as he embarks on an epic journey to protect his family, friends, and the entire human race from a terrible fate. He will confront an assortment of villains, including the dark secrets of his forgotten past. Dragon Ball Z is arguably the most recognizable anime out there, fan or not. It brought us battles so epic that they make Superman vs. Zod look tame, even if the battles did only last three seconds. But what a glorious three seconds they were! There's one universal thing among all types of media that people like. Buff dudes fighting, and buff dudes coming back to life to fight some more. Every Saturday night we would get together and uh, drink soda with our friends and people would stop by and we'd watch Dragon Ball Z at like 12.30 in the morning and we'd leave our door open and people would just wander by and they'd just hear, Gah! and we'd go, wait, what's this? And they'd come in and watch it and like, it's so weird, but so good, it's hypnotic. I'm not the only one who like sits in the mirror and just, you know, goes, goes forward, just. Man, I was hoping it would happen right now, because it'd be like real cool. I love Goku's attitude about fighting not as something to do with hostility necessarily, but about training and improving himself. And I think it's really huge that he can get beaten and be grateful to his opponent for making him better. <laughs> it's so like testosterone filled that it's almost ridiculous. And the fights, the fights. You gotta love the fights, but it's got heart. It's got a ton of heart. The reason it's revered by so many is because a lot of us grew up with it. It was cool and kept us entertained. Even popular artists like Soulja Boy, Lupe Fiasco, The RZA, they've all referenced it. And I may have cosplayed as Vegeta at my other job. Uh... Anime is a massive enjoyable world with something for everyone. If you have any other great entry points for anime newcomers, please be sure to share them in the comments. We'd love to hear your suggestions. Welcome! to the world of anime, and we'll see you all again soon. You can find all of these anime on different streaming services right now, but if you want to see some brand new English dubs, Funimation offers you broadcast dubs on the streaming service Funimation Now, like Assassination Classroom. You normally have to wait years, but we've delivered within weeks. Uh, the first 14 days of Funimation Now are free, so check the link below. Fun fact, Assassination Classroom has an eight tentacled sensei. That's eight. Bye. Too many tentacles.